you have? My findings were that expectations out of 15 people I surveyed, um, when I talk about expectations, I have four answer choices where they're less than uh, they, what they expected, just as um, what they expected, more than that they expected, and um, the last one was consistently more. So the numbers that uh, I got from this were 13.3, 46.6, 33.3, and 6.6%. Um, and then I talked about the loyalty. Some of the questions I asked uh, during the survey about loyalty were um, your willingness to wait in line for, for new Apple release products, um, your willingness to pay any price for an, any, uh, any uh, Apple product, and basically here are the numbers, uh, once again, uh, they all vary, but just take note that the biggest number here is as expected, which is at 40%. So that's basically saying that it, that's what they're expecting, they didn't, they didn't uh, expect anything new. The overall service, if you guys notice, it's kind of spread out. 13.3% um, is tied with less than and consistently more. So you would expect that you know Apple, their numbers should be higher and uh, consistently more their overall service. So they've been keeping at a at a constant. So it hasn't been really going down or up. Here I have an illustration of the stock numbers. I have them for three months, one year, and five years. Um, the graph are the graphs are pretty small, but the whole takeaway from this is that um, over the over some time, over the year in the future, gradually it will the stock numbers are starting to go down a little bit. So now um, we will talk about some of the solutions we came up for the problems that Apple has been ha having. Um, like I said before, uh, the numbers show that nothing, everything that they're releasing is expected. There's nothing new. They're, if they are bringing, bringing new products, they're not being innovative with their products. So one of the solutions we brought up is, even if they are releasing new products, they have to be a, a, head, a step ahead of the game. They have to be really more innovative than what they are right now. Um, right now, Anne is gonna talk about some customer complaints as well. Um, we also think that Apple should listen to the customer complaint. Like what happening, what's going on right now is people keep complaining on the battery life. They should have like, uh, update on that, like how to fix on that, and also the um, the, the connection of the new update for the Apple. They should also focus on that too. And um, Catalina will continue. Um, also, so another solution would be trial and error. Uh, we will suggest releasing our the newest products that will come out to either some of the workers or a small gathered uh, group. Uh, uh, and the, uh, Problem, uh, test group, yeah. test group to, of people so that they could tell us what issues they found with their products and in that trial we will figure out ways to fix it before the mass release to the uh, rest of the community to the rest of the people. And I want to thank everybody for their time and we'll leave y'all with this. This is another selfie of us. I'll try to <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? Is that one